Guys, I gotta warn you, today's video is very long. It's just about a half hour long. So if at any point you get bored and you wanna skip ahead, just make sure you watch like the last two minutes. It features one of my favorite Disney memories. Enjoy. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and today I'm actually outside. It's a little windy, so you might hear a little bit of that noise. But I am somewhere different. Uh, the Dano Channel Studio is my home. It's kind of being torn apart right now. We're going to get some carpet done and steam tomorrow. But I figured I would come up with some kind of video. And you can see, maybe you can see where I'm at right now. I'm on the corner of two very specific street names. There's Leia. And maybe you can see it on the other side there. The other street name is Kenobi. Now, Kenobi is spelled wrong. It's not... K-I-N-O-B-E, if you can see back there. It's not Kinob. It should be K-E-N-O-B-I, like Obi-Wan Kenobi. And Princess Leia, which is spelled correctly. But the thing is, and this is a really, really blurry, snowy looking video. How about we fix that real quick? Better. A little bit better. A little bit better. Now, the reason I'm here, I'm walking by my truck. Here's my truck. There's my truck. I have an old truck. It's really old. But the thing is, my home, my studio, the place where I normally record, is actually being, like, torn apart right now. And I should be home finishing that. But I decided I would take a minute just to give you guys a video. Something I'd wanted to do a long time ago. I'm really dark. You guys want to lighten me up a little bit? Or do you like looking at the neighborhood? It's a nice old neighborhood. A lot of these old houses were built probably... 60s or 70s by the looks of them. Oh, there I am. I'm brightened up again. Now you can't see the neighborhood. Or you can see me. Or neighborhood. Or me. Which one is it? Uh, <laughs> but either way, it, there are a lot of older houses. And now the weird thing, but the cool thing is I wanted to come to this neighborhood. The weird thing, the cool thing. I wanted to come to this neighborhood because I want to talk about these crazy street names. There's a weird little neighborhood here in Las Vegas where the streets are named after Star Wars characters, and it is strange. It's kind of weird. It's like, well, the weird part is they spelled Kenobi wrong. Look. Kinob. Kinobe. doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. I don't understand why. If you're going to do it, do it right. And it's not just like a coincidence. It wasn't like there was one for Leia and one for Kenobi, and that was it. That's not all. If you notice, I'm walking. I'm moving. I'm walking through the neighborhood, and pretty soon here we're going to see another one. I think there's like three or four total street names uh, that are part of this, but Leia, Kenobi, and these are, again, older houses. I needed to do something for the video. It's been over a week. I don't know if you guys saw my last video that was released. I believe it was the Enchanted Tiki Room Craft that I did as a collaboration with Made by Mommy. If you haven't seen it, what are you waiting for? Go watch that video. It was really fun. It was really cool to actually uh, get to do a collaboration with Made by Mommy who I met a long time ago at the Disney All-Star Creator Conference. I said it right. Um, and it's just, it's cool to, like, find those people that I've met a long time ago and work with them again. And it's really neat. But check it out. Here it is. Here it is. There's one more street. Now, the street I'm on, this one that I'm walking on right here, is not Star Wars named. It's actually Neo Show, which I don't understand at all. I don't get it in the least bit. But look up there. Vader. Vader. You seek Vader. I know that's not the line, but still. Vader. Kenobi. Not Kenobi, but Kenobi. And Leia, so far. And I believe there's two more streets that are part of this weird little stretch of neighborhood here in Las Vegas, Nevada, or Henderson, Nevada. I think it might technically be Henderson, Nevada. Um, there's two more street names that are part of this little... Star Wars neighborhood, if you will, if you won't. I don't know. But it's nice, actually. I wouldn't mind owning one of these houses. We're looking for a house. Part of us tearing apart our home, getting these everything ready for the carpets. Me and my girlfriend Alicia were talking like, hey, we should just leave a lot of this stuff packed up. If you guys follow me on Instagram or you follow me on Twitter, uh, you'll see I was posting some pictures of old stuff I found, stuff from back in my high school days when I was much younger. A uh, big bag of old, like, flyers from punk and ska shows I went to when I was younger. Um, but it's been really fun. I've been posting them over there. I haven't really put stuff up here on the YouTube channel. But I was thinking about doing it. In fact, another thing I was thinking about doing is selling some of my old artwork. So if you guys are interested, I want to hear your comments. If you want to go follow me on Instagram, at Daniel Flores, there's pictures of it. 
but also let me know if you want me to sell that old artwork because I might just sell it to you guys. Here's another one. Governor Tarkin. Only you would be so bold. But look, there it is, Tarkin. I'm sorry, the finger pointing thing's getting better. Um, but yeah, here it's another street, Tarkin. I'm still on Neo Show, which I think has nothing to do with anything at all Star Wars related. But look at this, there's grass. It's a nice little house. And the cool thing is, it's a rarity for houses here in Las Vegas. It's brightened me up a little bit. It's kind of a rarity for houses here in Las Vegas to actually have yards and to have grass in them. A lot of the houses now are these tiny little cookie cutter plywood neighborhoods where you have no space in between the next house. You have maybe like three feet between you and the next house because no one out here wants yards because no one wants to take care of them. Fair enough, I'm lazy too. But it's nice that this older neighborhood out here actually has yards. There's not a lot of heavy traffic. There's not a shtun of people. Shtun is my short word for a bad word and ton. I call it a shtun. Um, and I'm not going to go all the way down because I know there's this next street and then there's one more which has nothing to do with Star Wars. But it is interesting. Either way, I'm here now. I'll walk past it at least so you guys can see. Sorry if I'm squinting. It's very, very bright out. But let's just show you what we got here. There it is right there. Skywalker Street. It's a street for people who walk in the sky. So we have Skywalker. We have Tarkin. We have Vader. We have Kynobe. We have Leia. And the very last street down at the very end here actually is not at all Star Wars related. But I, will, I, I would consider it to be movie related in some sense. I don't exactly... I don't know, you guys tell me, you be the judge. I'm almost there, I'm like just a couple feet away from it. And I wanna know what you guys think. Does this count as movie related? To me it does, it's a little, I'll say Blues Brothers. Cause that's a, that's a song that reminds me of is from the Blues Brothers. You'll see it here in just a second. If I happen upon a street sign, but I did happen upon this. You guys can see it here. Oh no, you can see it there. There it is, a giant Winnebago. Some of these Winnebago is right there a Winnebago. Let's cross the street. There's no traffic. There's no traffic. There's some water flowing in the road. There's some dudes doing construction who are probably looking at me like, who does that guy think he is? Who does that guy think he is? Walking around talking to a bunch of people inside there. Why didn't he stop and talk to us? I know they're jealous, but it's not good to be jealous. But look, that's the last street sign. Raw hard. Do you guys think that's movie related? To me, that's very Blues Brothers. Hello, car. If it's not planes, it's cars on this channel, I swear. Let's put the hat backwards, because it is. It's, it's backwards hat time. It's time to look like a 90s bully. Um, but yeah, it's it's different. It's I had to come up with something different. I wanted to show you guys. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Sean and Caitlin. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, uh, Sean, Hart, Caitlin. That's, that's precious. That's absolutely just precious. Ooh, look, fancy palm trees, fancy palms. Either way, I wanted to share with you guys something weird. Do you guys have any weird street names in your neighborhoods? Is there somewhere in your hometown, somewhere near where you live that has crazy street names? I also want to hear that. If you guys want to know more about me possibly selling some of my old artwork, now this is non-Disney inspired artwork. This is just weird stuff I got into when I was younger, different kind of things, just space, a lot of weird space stuff. In fact, I was thinking that I was gonna go through each of those canvases and make a video on them and talk about what's on the canvas and why it's there because there's a lot of reasoning as to what ended up on there. There's a lot of like specifics I put stuff on those canvases with certain reasons or certain messages I wanted to portray. And I think you guys might find them interesting. I don't know. But I want to sell them. I need to get rid of them. I'm going through closets and I'm like, I don't want to move this stuff to a new place. Check this car out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's fancy. An old Thunderbird. That's pretty sweet. Oh, there's a dog back there, too. Good thing he didn't bark. But either way. Oh, look. Here's another little message. Can you see it? 12, 12, 14, heart. I have no idea what that means, but last December, somebody hearted. Isn't that a cool house? 
This is a fancy looking house. Now eventually I'm gonna walk around this whole neighborhood and I'll be back to my car. But look at that, there's like a yard and a fence and actual grass. This is amazing. This is like something you don't really see here in Las Vegas as far as neighborhoods go. They're never like this. Or at least newer ones are not like this. Oh look, the inn on Rawhide. Can you see a little sign over there? The inn on Rawhide. That's cool, I like it. This is pretty fancy. I like this little neighborhood. It's a very nice little neighborhood. Back to the artwork. I'm thinking of putting up, I'm so scatterbrained today, but I'm thinking of putting up videos on each series of the artwork, each little painting, talking about what's in it and why. Because this week, with all my stuff being gone and put away and the whole studio being dismantled, I'm not going to have an easy time filming. So I need to film something. I want you guys to have something to watch here on the Dano channel. So if that is something you think you would want to watch, that's something you'd be interested in, I need to know in the comments, is it worth my time to do that? Would you rather see me do something else? Unfortunately, this is going to be a really hard 10 days to panic. It's about 10 days. Um, in between treatments that we're getting. But it's going to be a really hard, like, week and a half, two weeks, where everything is boxed up. And it's just, it's tough. So I want to know, what do you guys want to see? What do you want to see me do? Do you want to see me go around Las Vegas? I'm actually planning on taking my 360 camera down to the strip at some point. Sorry, i got to get a little bit louder because that truck's driving by. But I'm thinking of taking the 360 camera from 360 land over to the Las Vegas Strip to film some stuff out there because I won't be back in Disneyland for a few weeks. So I won't have much to film. And if you haven't checked it out, go look at 360 Land. In fact, on this page, there's a link down below is related channels, my other channels. There is a link down below that'll take you right to 360 Land. You can watch the uh, Disneyland Forever fireworks in 360. Oh, check this out. Look, these guys already have Halloween decorations up. Little tombstones and biohazard things. That's awesome. Oh, look, they even have skeletons. That's really cool. I'm going to come trick-or-treat here. They've got really cool, like, skeletons and stuff on their doors. I love it. I love seeing these old, bigger houses. Because, again, out here we don't have this. Oh, look at these cute little squirrels. Little squirrels. Little squirrels. Little squirrels. That's pretty awesome. That's actually really awesome. But we don't have stuff like this. I never get to see this. I live in an apartment. I don't get to see neighborhoods very often. Either way, if there's stuff you guys want to see here on the Dano channel, this is kind of a weird street places slash talking vlog slash update slash let me know what you guys want to see. Oh, look. SB and KC. And then look, there's also a bunch of gibberish gibberish nobody knows what any of that gibberish means let's see if I can, I'll cross the street here I'm going the wrong way now this is actually kind of just on a side note completely separate subject I'm gonna be walking next to a wash a gully a arroyo depending on what part of the world you uh, come from oh wow there's a lot of water flowing in there actually and you guys can see in there because it's very bright I'm facing the sun, as you can tell by the shadow over my face. It's a phone-shaped shadow over my face. It's the only thing blocking the sun. It looks weird, I know, but check it out. I'll get to the point where we can see it a little bit better, hopefully. But there's an arroyo, a gully, a gutter, and there is a bunch of flowing water coming through here. Take a look. Seems like kind of a waste of water here in the desert, but it is what it is. Now, when I was growing up, I lived in New Mexico. I actually grew up a lot in the Southwest. Some of you, actually, this reminds me of something. I posted pictures of like some awards and stuff I got during high school, and some of you were like, oh, I like seeing the history of Dano and learning who you are. So here's another little piece of history and who I am. Uh, when I was growing up in New Mexico, and again, like I said before, I grew up kind of all over the Southwest. I lived in El Paso, Texas for a bunch of years. I lived in Alamogordo, New Mexico for a few years. I lived in Oklahoma City for a few months. I lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico after that for years. Well guys, it looks like my camera cut out on me during part of my rambling, so I don't know where this cut off, but I don't even see back there Vader Street. 
I'm just past Vader. I'm on another street right now called Cadman. And look, there's even a tire swing somewhere. There it is, tire swing. I mean, that's how cool and old school this neighborhood. I actually really like this neighborhood a lot. Um, but that's it. I just kind of wanted to wrap it up. Tell you guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. I've got another painting tutorial coming up in the next few days. I just got to find time to do the voiceover for it. It's recorded. It's chopped together. It's the other half of the painting tutorial I did before. This time it's going to be World of Color. So please stick around for that. It's coming very, very soon. I know some of you have been asking me for it. And I want to share some of the work that I guess I've inspired some of you guys to do, which is really, really cool. Uh, but that's it. I just wanted to catch up with you guys, let you know I'm still here. I know it's been a week, but I'm still here. It's been a crazy rough week, but there will be more very soon. Just let me know what you want to see down below. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.